Well, we started our soldering training many years ago, uh, working with Goodrich in Burnsville, doing training for their employees, and they have several hundred people that need certification. And um, from that point, we decided to expand to other companies. So we're working with a number of companies that are in aerospace, medical device, um, military contractors, uh, a number of different industries that, that utilize soldering technology. And this is all hand soldering, not, not automated. So it's uh, very precise work that's done under a microscope. And there are uh, folks that are paid very well. Uh, it's, it requires a certification, it's called IPC, which is International Printed Circuits Association. In addition to the company training that we do on site, we also do training here at the college in the evening. That's open enrollment classes for anyone that wants to learn how to be a soldering technician. And then in addition to that, we do uh, classes at various other sites for dislocated workers, or other groups, community groups, that want to learn soldering techniques. In those industries, I mentioned the aerospace and medical device, especially here in the Twin Cities, which you know, we're one of the leaders in the nation in those areas. Um, there are thousands of technicians doing hand soldering, so that, yes, there is a demand for that, even in this economy. Well, it's, it's very precise work. They, they work with um, components that are so small you can barely see them with, with the naked eye, so it requires the use of a microscope to see them and they have to be placed very precisely. Um, they're very sensitive to heat and electrostatic charges, so there's, there's a lot of uh, techniques that they have to use not to damage the parts uh, because, they, you know, again, they're things that are going into medical devices and, and um, aerospace equipment and you don't want your airplane or your defibrillator not functioning because someone made a mistake in putting a component on a printed circuit board, so they're very sensitive parts. The certifications are only about a week, okay. but it, it depends on what their skill level is going into that. Um, if, if you were taking somebody with, with no knowledge or skill in soldering, that would take several weeks for them to get up to the level where they could become certified. So, and we, we do both those things. We, we train people the basic soldering skills, and then once they have those skills, then, then we'll give them the IPC certifications. Well, I guess the, the other thing is it fits nicely into our, um, our green initiatives here at the college because um, a lot of, the, there are new requirements coming now that soldering be lead free, and so we are including that in our curriculum um, to use lead free soldering techniques. We do training at the company sites, like I said, and also here at the college, and we can basically do it anywhere. Our, our equipment is portable, so we'll take it anywhere and do the training. Um, and it can be done any time of the day or night, um, weekends, any time that the customer wants it, we can provide it. We've got a number of certified instructors that will, that will teach anywhere.